Hi class, today we are on Saxon Math, book four, lesson 96. And today we are going to talk about finding an average and really what an average is. So this first problem you have seen before or you've seen something like it before. Let's see if I can balance my quarters here. So I have three stacks of quarters. This stack has eight quarters. This stack has three and this stack has four quarters. So when you've seen this type of problem before, they ask you to rearrange the quarters so that you have the same number in each stack. So we do that by taking quarters from the bigger stack and moving it over to the smaller ones. So if I put one here in the middle, now I have a stack of four, a stack of four, and a stack of seven. Well, this one's still bigger, so I'm gonna take one from here to make five and another one to make five. So now these are five quarters and five quarters, and oh, looky here, now I have five quarters there as well. So the average of the numbers three, four, and eight is five. Finding the average means we take the total amount we have, total amount of points, total amount of quarters, total amount of whatever it is we're talking about, and then we divide it into the number of groups so that each group has the same number. So there's a two-step process to doing that, and I'm gonna show you with my quarter example. We had a stack of eight, we had a stack of three, and we had a stack of four. So if we were gonna do this without holding the quarters and without physically moving them, we would do it by adding to start with. You take all your numbers and you add them together. So eight plus three is 11 and 11 plus four is 15. And then our next step is to divide. We take this total and we divide it by however many numbers we added together. So in this case, we added one, two, three numbers. So we take 15 divided by three, and we would get five in each group. This number is called our average, okay? Let's do another example. This one says four vans carried the team to the soccer field. There were five players in the first van. So I'm gonna write that down so we don't forget it. Five players in the first van, four players in the second van, and three players in the third van, and eight players in the fourth van. What was the average number of players per van. So two steps. Remember our first step is we need to add. So we have to figure out five plus four plus three plus eight. Let's see. I know that makes 12. I know that makes eight. And eight plus 12 is going to give me 20. My second step is to divide 20 by however many numbers I added here. So one, two, three, four. 20 divided by four, you get five again. This is a word problem, so we need to say five players. Five players per van on average. So if we had taken all those kids and split them up so that each van had the same number, there would be five in each van. Just like with our quarter example, how my stacks are even. All right, so all we have left are a couple of lesson practice problems. I would like to do these kind of with you since we didn't have a whole lot of examples. It's a pretty easy concept. You just have to remember, add, and then even more importantly, you're dividing by whatever number of numbers you added. So don't let that sentence confuse you. Count the numbers that you added together and divide by that. All right, so lesson practice. 
is on page 608, if you want to follow along with me. Problem A says, in three classrooms, there were 24, 25, and 26 children. What was the average number of children per classroom? Some of you might be looking at this and saying, I can figure that one out in my head because we would just take one kid from the big class, add it to the small class, and all of them would have 25. But we want to practice using our process for finding an average. So I'm going to add the three numbers together first. 4 and 6 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. Carry my 1, 2, 4, 6, plus 1 is 7. So I have 75. And then I need to divide by however many numbers I added, which was 3. And 75 divided by 3 is 25 students. Problem B. There were two stacks of books on the shelf, one with 17 books and the other with 11 books. Allison moved some books from the taller stack to the shorter stack so that the number of books in the two stacks were equal. When she finished, how many books were in each stack? So she had one stack with 17 books and she had one stack with 11 books. So they don't actually ask you for the average. Let me read how they word this problem again. It says, Allison moved some books from the tall stack and added them on to the short stack so that the stacks were equal. When she finished, how many books were in each stack? They never say the word average, but an average is what they want you to find. They want you to take the total number of books. So we find that by adding our two numbers, 7 plus 1, 1 plus 1. So Allison has a total of 28 books, and then she takes those 28 books and splits them into two equal stacks. So then we need to do 28 divided by 2. Some of you, I'm sure, are going to do that right away in your head. Some of you might look at that and go, oh, that is not one of my facts. Seems a little tough. So if you need a little help with this, rewrite it. Rewrite it with the 28 inside the house so that then you can look at it one digit at a time. 2 goes into 2 one time and we wouldn't have anything left over. So I could go through and drop my eight, but I don't have to. If I know I don't have anything left over, I can say two goes into two one time, and two goes into eight four times. So there would be 14 books in each stack. Okay, our final problem says Spencer's scores on his first three games were 85, 85, and 100. What was the average of his first three game scores? So here's his numbers. We have to add them up to start. Go ahead and try that now. So you should have gotten 270. And then to find the average, we have to take that 270. This is kind of a big number. I'm going to put it in the house. And what am I dividing by? 
however many numbers you added together. So one, two, three. Does three go into two? No. Does three go into 27? Yes, evenly, nine times. Does three go into zero? No. Can I just say nine? Can I leave my answer like this? No, because look at the place value here. This nine is in the tens place. So I have to fill in the ones with a zero. So his average score was 90 points. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for you to do your written practice, which begins on page 609 of your textbook. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.